Are you ready to boost your walk? Grab your lightest dumbbells and let's go. All right, killer bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. And that means that we are getting started with some arm circles and high knees. Oh my gosh. It's almost like I have not been moving yet today. <laughs> Sometimes that first arm circle really gets me. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, sometimes I'm stiff and sometimes, all the time, we're making peace <laughs> with our menopausal bodies by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love. And right now, a gentle warm-up totally feels like self-love to me while I get myself moving and grooving and ready ha, 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 for a boosted walk, you guys. I think you might know by now, if you are not new around here, that this is one of my favorite kinds of workouts. We are walking with very, very, very light weights. <laughs> Let me be very, very, very clear about that. Way, way, way back in the day, when I first started making these walking with weights videos, I accidentally used Used weights that were much too heavy and I really truly did not understand the appeal of walking with weights I thought it was ridiculous <laughs> which is why in over the course of let's see the first probably six years of being on YouTube I think I made like two walking with weights videos and then in the last two years which it hasn't even been two years my math is not right on this because I've only been on YouTube Oh my gosh, no, I have been on YouTube almost eight years. Okay, so anyways, in the last two years, I've made like dozens. I love walking with weights, it's super fun, but the trick really is to have light enough weights. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers, because here's the thing, you guys, this is all of the low impact, no transition to the ground kind of cardio that you know and love around here, except we've got weights in our hands. So we're moving pretty quickly. This is definitely going to take you, unless you are careful, right up to the edge of what is moderate for you and possibly even tip you over if you're not careful. My friends, we're going moderate today because moderate is the best, kindest way to lose weight. The harder you work, the harder it is to lose weight. And so why in the world would we boost our walk? Well, my friends, because it's really efficient. <laughs> it's really not about like burning more calories or anything like that. Truly, it's a matter of getting a little bit more bang for our buck because if we're only gonna exercise moderately and we're really only going to be doing this for like 20 to 25 minutes, we might as well be getting some toning as well as our cardio. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because welcome to my home. Blossom is outside right now which is why she's not sleeping here, and which is why I have the whole chair to myself for my weights, which by the way, by the way, when we're warming up, don't have weights in your hands. <laughs> I think you know that. I feel like you know that. I'm not going to worry about it anymore. You guys, here's what it looks like. I've got the handy dandy gym boss set for intervals of 30 seconds and 10 seconds. And neither one of those, technically speaking, is rest. Although the 10 seconds is where we're walking. So please feel free to take that down to a very, very, very low speed, gentle walk so that it really can be a little bit of rest from the rest of what we're doing. So I've got a great no repeat list of exercises here. So if there's one that you don't like, my friends, we're only doing it for 30 seconds, it'll be fine. You could do something else if you would prefer, or we can just live with it for 30 seconds. We're actually gonna get started with some low swinging tappers. And because I am really, truly thinking about keeping this moderate, I'm gonna go ahead and get moving. I'm gonna grab my dumbbells. I hear Blossom coming in, so she might be joining us soon, but we're gonna get started with low swinging tappers. Low swinging just means that our hands aren't going up over our head. They're actually coming up kind of high, if you'd like them to, but tapping just from side to side. Now, when it beeps, it's going to be a 10 second interval where we're going to be walking. Again, help yourself if you would prefer to really keep this at a nice, nice low rate right here and take full rest. You know what's moderate for you and if you don't know, I will have you err on the side of caution because I would always rather have you do less. Here we go with walking. When it beeps again, we're doing can-cans. It's a knee and a kick on one side and a knee and a kick on the other. When in doubt, my friends, okay, when in doubt, walk it out. It's always my thing. <laughs> can-cans. Knee and a kick. Knee and and a kick. When in doubt, do less. You know, the thing is, you can lose weight, you can get in shape, you can get anywhere you want to go by doing less than you think you need to, as long as you are consistent. The only way you get results, my friend, is getting results over time. Any one workout, any one day, not gonna do a ton for you. Here we go with 10 seconds of walking, and when it beeps again, we're doing twisting kicks. So we're twisting our torso while kicking forward. 
over time, here we go with twisting kicks. Over time, your body makes adaptations to anything that you do regularly. So if you are working out, in my opinion, way too hard, maybe in your opinion too, but if you are working out way too hard, your body actually has a hard time making adaptations because it is in a constant state of like low grade inflammation, pre-injury, sometimes even injury because of working too hard. Here's 10 seconds of walking when it beeps again. We're doing triceps curl downs. We're curling down with our triceps. When we find the right moderate pace, here we go with triceps curl downs. When we find the right moderate pace, my friends, we can come back and do work like this or like something else, but something moderate every single day. And over time, your body will make all kinds of adaptations, weight loss adaptations, strength adaptations, balance adaptations, like we talked about yesterday, flexibility adaptations, heart and lung adaptations, all kinds of fitness that can only be gained. Here was our 10 seconds of walking. When it beeps again, we're doing airplane arm tappers. So hands are going out to the side like airplane arms. I love this one. One of these days I really need to check what the captions do. I think it probably something like Paula makes noise. Maybe, oh, I hope it's help. I hope that it's Paula makes airplane noise. That would be hilarious to me. <laughs> Really thinking about using those big muscles in your back very differently when we've got very light weights in our hands than when our hands are just empty. You feel the boost in our walk here. Speaking of walking, here we come back to it. When it beeps again, we're doing middle skips. It's just like skipping, except we're not trying to get too much out of it. We're not doing any kind of jumping, all low impact today. But a middle skip is one arm, one knee, coming up at a time. Awesome job. My friends, when we can keep this moderate today, and I really am doing my best thinking about not having my hands too high over my head, not moving too fast. This kind of work done regularly is exactly how we get any place that we want to go. When it beeps again, we've got that 10 seconds of walking, bringing our heart rate back down a little bit. Not too much variation in the heart rate today. When it beeps again, we're doing bug slappers. Okay. This was something that I did last month that I called step out X's. Oh my gosh. So your hands are kind of doing jumping jacks. As you're stepping out, you're reaching down towards your opposite hand or towards your opposite foot rather, as though you are slapping a bug right off your shin. I really should have looked up which one of my friends suggested that because I loved it. As soon as I heard it, I was like, oh, obviously there's going to be called bug slappers from now on. I think I called them step out X's, except for the fact that we never actually form the letter X. Here we come back to walking. And lots of you suggested things with windmill in the title, which I totally agree, except that I would get confused. When it beeps again, we're doing wide open side kicks. Elbows are about shoulder height. We're opening up our arms wide kicking out to the side. I have, I was just thinking about this. I have a couple of new exercises today that I really hope I remember how to do because when I was putting this workout together, I was like, oh, okay, that's a fun movement. I can totally do that. And then I forgot to practice right before I turned on the camera. So you might see me struggling for 30 seconds at a time today. <laughs> when it beeps again, of course, we're coming back to walking. And that's what I'm gonna tell you. If there's an exercise that you struggle with, please feel free to just walk. When it beeps again, we're doing forward hinge arm flappers. Feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Your hands are doing jumping jacks with absolutely no jumping. Your lower body, who doggies, is doing deadlifts. Really thinking about forming this motion by pushing your hips back, pulling your hips forward. Great job. When it beeps again, we're coming back to walking. You will notice that there is some hands overhead today. Feel free to modify that in any way you need to. Maybe that means that you actually aren't gonna have weights in your hands, or maybe that means that you will keep your hands a little bit lower. When it beeps again, we're doing front raise side tappers. Okay, so both hands are doing a front raise. Your palms are facing your body while we're tapping one foot at a time out to the side. I got started way too fast. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so this is one of those things where we don't even have to have our hands up over our heads to notice some shoulder work. Really think about 
pulling that work down into your big back muscles. Using those shoulder blades, pull them back and down while we're raising our arms right up in front of us. When it beeps again, we'll be done with this exercise. And then we're walking. Okay, I liked that one. That was fun, and I'm actually gonna do that one sometime. I'm gonna do that one sometime when we don't have weights in our hands. Coming up next, high knee elbow swings. So, we're doing high knees with elbow swings, which feels so awkward to me because we usually do booty kicker elbow swings, so this feels wrong, and yet I love doing a high knee, so this feels right all at the same time. Lots of thinking today, thinking about a new exercise sometimes can raise your heart rate even more than the exercise itself. Anytime we do something new or different, here we come back to walking, when your brain gets involved too, there's more effort involved. So make sure that we're keeping this nice and simple. When it beeps again, we're doing reach across. That's one we've done a million times. Okay. So we can just be gently in the groove with that one. Come on up, Blossom. Hi, baby. Hello. She came in from outside and now she's like, oh, thank goodness. I can get back in my spot. Good girl, sweetheart. When it beeps again, we get to have those weights down a little bit and we'll come back to walking, you guys. Are you feeling the boost? Tell you what, even when we go a little bit slower, this is what you will notice about having weights in your hands. Your heart rate will come up. This is how this, is how this kind of a workout can be right at the edge of moderate. When it beeps again, we're doing rainbow jacks. Okay, speaking of things that'll be right at the edge of moderate. So hands are up overhead, swinging from side to side like a rainbow. <sighs> Maybe bring this down a little bit just right there wherever you need to go however you need to moderate or modify in order to keep it moderate moderate is a verb moderate is oh gosh what is it adjective it's describing the workout it's describing our effort a moderate effort is moderate for you when it beeps again we are doing skiers. Hands are going up and down in front of us. Feet are shuffling back and forth underneath us. The thing about moderate, moderate the adjective, not moderating the verb. Well, moderating the verb is always up to you, but moderate is always up to you too. My speed right now is moderate for me. I've been working out for years. I'm pretty fit, I'm pretty strong. I already knew what we were doing today, so I knew how much brain power was gonna be involved. It's up to you to make sure, here's 10 seconds of walking. When it beeps again, we're doing papa squats, not father squats, pop, a squat. It's not a full squat. We're just kind of, we're just kind of popping a squat. <laughs> Hands go up. I mean, there's no better way to describe it, which is why it is the name of the exercise. We're just popping a little squat and up your hands go. <laughs> My friends, I get comments all the time. Oh, this workout was so hard. This workout was so sweaty. Thank goodness it was moderate. Well, if it was so hard and so sweaty, it's not moderate. Moderate for you should feel moderate. It should kind of feel like not much. Here's 10 seconds of walking when it beeps again. We're doing fruit punch back steps. I'm not even gonna call it a front punch anymore. I refuse. I even wrote fruit punch back step. <laughs> because I can't ever say it correctly, so why would I bother? <laughs> My friends, if something feels hard, it is hard. If something feels moderate, it is moderate. And yes, I'm saying that in time with my punching here. It is always up to you to moderate these workouts in the way that makes sense for you. And the great news about that, here, because 10 seconds of walking. When it beeps again, we're doing swimming frogs. Hands go up. We're bringing our elbows down wide out to the side. One knee is coming up out to the side at a time. So hands up, out to the side, out to the side. These are lat pull downs. Once again, really thinking about those big muscles in your back. We're doing all this work. Pull your shoulder blades in and rotate them down in order to engage those muscles. Thinking about what you're doing, even while we're just doing cardio, is gonna help you get the boost out of this workout when it beeps again. We've got 10 seconds of walking. 
Oh, you're doing such a good job. Coming up next, I'm going to scoot over here a little bit. We've got push, push. No crunch on this one. We're just pushing to the side, pushing to the side. Then pushing to the other side, pushing to the other side. A little bit kinder and gentler. So push and push, push and push. Nice job. Here we go. The great news about you being in charge of what is moderate is that that means you can do any workout. And I mean that literally, any workout in the entire world. You could pick one of my really, really old workouts where I used to get up and down from the ground. I used to jump all the time. I used to have very, very intense workouts. Here's 10 seconds of walking. When it beeps again, we're doing drinky bird jacks. Your hands are doing jumping jacks. Your legs are doing drinky birds, which is just a fancy way of, well, not even fancy. It's a funny way of saying single leg deadlift. So that means you're bringing one leg out behind you. Your back is straight. You're pulling that leg up by squeezing from your glutes. Even when we do this for cardio, we're not just bending over and flinging our leg around. We're thinking about pulling in our core, thinking about excellent form, thinking about doing our best to get our best boost. When it beeps again, we've got 10 seconds of walking. Whoo, doggies, feeling that heart rate come up. And now I'm gonna bring this way down. Okay, coming up next. We're doing something I call sumo stand-ups, which means that we're gonna come into a sumo squat. So we're sumo squat, stand it up. Sumo squat, stand it up. As you're standing it up, hands go up overhead. Oh, so therefore, you might want to moderate this. That's a verb because this might not feel moderate, adjective, for you. Here's what I was saying about taking any super, super high intensity workout. Making it moderate for you means that you go at your pace. Here's 10 seconds of walking. Coming up next, we're doing ding-dongs or weeble wobbles, whichever one you want to call them. <laughs> we're swinging our hands low, meaning not over our head, kicking out that same foot. Whee! on that same side. I love this one. Now you can see why I call them weeble wobbles because I feel like a weeble who wobbles and thankfully doesn't fall down. When you know what's moderate for you, it means that you could be watching somebody doing jumping jacks and you could be doing something like this instead. You could be watching somebody do burpees and you could take your burpees over to the side of a wall. No jumping, slight push up against the wall. Here's 10 seconds of walking. Coming up next, we're doing butter churns. When your hands are up, they're underneath your chin. When your hands are down, one foot is kicking out to the side. Excellent job. Might also know these as hoedowns <laughs> because it just kind of looks like a hoedown. It also kind of looks like dynamite, like Wiley e. Coyote pushing down on the dynamite. So excited that he's finally going to get the Roadrunner. He's not. <laughs> There's a lot of these exercises that have a lot of like mental Im images for me. So they really could have lots of different names. And some of them actually have changed names over the years, which is kind of funny coming back to walking. But my friends, when you know how to moderate, anything can be moderate. When it beeps again right now, we're doing big arm side shuffles. Hands are swinging right in front of you, making a big circle or a small circle if you need them to stay lower. When you moderate your workouts and make them all moderate, you are in charge of your weight loss. You are in charge of your fitness. You are in charge of not having injuries. You are in charge of everything. And that, my friend, is really good news. Like, probably the best news. When it weeps again, we're doing, okay, we're doing step out wood choppers. So we're doing wood choppers, which means that you're bringing your hands from your shoulders to, down to your elbow. And while we're chopping, oh, we're stepping out. And step out. So when you're bringing your hands up to your other shoulder, you're stepping back in. As you're chopping down, you're stepping out to that side. Lots of lateral motion today. <sighs> Lots of abs <laughs> involved today. Lots of moderating, modifying, making sure that we keep it moderate. 
And the thing about you being able to be in charge, you having all the control, ha ha, here's 10 seconds of walking. When it beeps again, we're doing close squat swings. Feet are gonna stay close together. We're gonna do a little bit of a squat and we're gonna do swings like kettlebell swings. On one side of your body, we're gonna swing up and then they'll come down again on the other side. This is very momentum based. As you come up, really popping those hips, squeezing those glutes, that's where all your power is coming from. This is. This is one of my favorite kinds of exercises. It's very momentum based, which means that your arms actually aren't doing much of the work. It's all coming from your butt. When in doubt, work your butt, my friends. <laughs> or when in doubt, walk it up. <laughs> which we're gonna do here when it beats right now. Awesome job. Okay, okay, here we go. Coming up next is wide walking starts. It's just like walking stars, except we're going wide instead of forward. So out, out, in, in, change leader hand. Out. In, in, out, out, in, in. Yes, I'm gonna say it every time. <laughs> this is the same motion, but it is just different enough. Oh, I totally did that wrong, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're following me exactly. I didn't change my leader hand on that one. <sighs> I was thinking about what I was gonna say rather than thinking out, out, in, in. <sighs> this is what happens when I'm talking and not thinking. 10 seconds of rest. And that was it, 30 seconds, and then we're done with it. And you guys, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, here's our last exercise. We're doing day breaks. <laughs> Hands up overhead, your feet are doing those tappers just like we started with. This is a high swinging tapper, is really what it is. It's basically the exact same thing as the first exercise we started with, except our hands are up overhead, swaying along to the mellow sounds of Barry Benalo. You guys, when it beeps again, we are done. We're not quite finished. We're gonna go ahead and do that 10 seconds of walking. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I have one final thing for us. Just 30 seconds. It's just one interval. We're doing swinging knees to elbows. A little bit of balance work. So here's some walking. We're going to have our hands at our shoulders. Elbows pointed outward. We're going to bring our knee up to our opposite elbow. Then to the same elbow. So opposite elbow, same elbow, and down. Totally different pace here. Totally different focus here. We're balancing. We're using our abs, we're using our core. Oh my gosh, we're slowing way down because that's what we do with the finisher. We think about doing something different. We practice a little bit of balance every day. Every day will do ya, my friends. Great job, okay. Put those weights down and let me finally, well, as we're cooling down, let me finally finish what I was saying. The thing about being in control, the thing about being in charge, let's go ahead and do some arm circles, is that it also brings you the responsibility. And I know that that can be kind of tough. <laughs> if you're in charge and you're in control, then you can't just follow along. Paula said this was moderate. No, no, no. Paula said you need to moderate it for yourself. It is, it is a blessing. And for some of us who would rather just be told what to do, kind of a curse, because I am telling you, it's up to you. It's up to you to do your best. It's up to you to manage your mind. It's up to you to eat the right number of calories if you want to lose weight. It's up to you to drink your water, to sleep, to do all the things the right way so that you can get your goal, so that you can do what you want to do in life, my friends. It's a responsibility, but oh, it's a good one. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh my gosh. Oh, that feels so good. And then we'll close it up and give ourselves a big hug and a pat on your sweaty back because you did such a great job today moderating, being moderate, doing your best, doing all the things that you need to do in order to get where you want to go. And maybe where you want to go is this extended cool down. <laughs> I have one here for you on screen because that was sweaty today. Even if you did a great moderate job, that was still sweaty. Like no matter, no matter how moderate we went, that was definitely a sweaty one. I've also got your reminder of the five things that we do every day in order to lose weight over 50 right here on the other side of the screen. You guys, you guys, what a great month of July we've had. This is all seven of the July workouts and now you get to repeat them for the rest of the month to get your goal. My friends, make sure you subscribe and no matter where you go tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow.